praise jesus and welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am becky bex i bring you awesome fun and timely content on all my platforms merry christmas guys and a happy 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 new year i am recording this video on the 24th of december 2020 i was just chilling at home and i was like you know I promised answers to your questions. I had this question tag on Instagram and also on my WhatsApp and some of you all send me amazing questions, which I have that I'm going to answer right now. But first, I want to thank all of you guys for your continued support. And P.S. I am not empty. I have this dress. It just begins here and I can't sit like this the whole time, but let me try. But also, I just want to thank you guys for your continued support. You know, 2020 has been a great year. It has been, you know, filled with so many blessings and, you know, the presence and the favor of the Lord has been upon us. And just for you guys, you know, to choose to support me, you know, just supporting my hustle, supporting my gigs. I am just so grateful. I love you guys so much. And yeah, I hope this support continues, you know, in 2021 because you're going to do greater things in Jesus name amen now guys I made my hair today and honestly my skin uh -uh, we are glowing let's get to the question so that this video is not long if you're not subscribed don't let 2020 end you know with you like being 50 50 Nika you're a part of us Nika you're not join us already subscribe Question number one. Hey, boo. It, the first question came from my sister. Maggie, I love you, darling. Hi, boo. How are you? Where do you get the smile? Guys, it's like, it's not like there's a, you know, like a specific place I could say I get the smile from, except from my heart, you know, from within when I'm happy, it shows in me smiling. It's not, um, Every day, 24-7 type of thing. You know, there are days when I am not as happy. There are days when I am not, you know, as strong as I wish I would be. And on those days, I obviously am I'm not smiling like the whole time. But my smile comes from within. It just comes from the joy of the Lord. It just comes from, you know, the favor and the strength of God upon my life. And also, I don't know, a smile just, it just makes other people feel nice. You know, like me smiling is not only for me. It's for other guys that are out there and feeling, you know what, I am just, dis I'm just, you know, discouraged. I don't have hope for tomorrow. That's why I smile. Okay. Yes. The other question is, who are you dating slash seeing? Guys, you, and I don't know, but there are just specific people who must ask me this question. Every time I do attack, guys, I honestly feel like someone is going to think I'm empty. So, yeah, let's try that sorted you know who am i seeing or dating guys i am not seeing anyone at the moment uh at the moment i am not you know situation shaping with anybody i promise i pledge i am telling the truth so i am not seeing anyone but you know like it's not something that gives me pressure honestly at all i just find it funny that the same people keep asking the same question every time but anyway we never know what's going to happen in 2021, you know. <laughs> if it comes, we're here. If God says yes, who are we? You know, who are we? Who, who am I to say no if God says yes? When sleeping, no, this was intrusive, but I'll answer it. When sleeping, do you prefer a onesie or a t-shirt and pants? I'm a t-shirt and pants kind of guy. I'm a t-shirt, pants, socks, sweater, scarf kind of girl that's that's how i do it this uh, this whole other mm. oh sleep like that like that oh it's healthy ah uh -uh, i am healthy thank you <laughs> what is your biggest fear honestly my biggest fear is dying without fulfilling my purpose i honestly i don't fear death itself but i fear i fear you know the coming of death before I finish my purpose. And it's crazy because I I have been having this conversation. I was having this conversation with a friend of mine and I was just telling, you know, them the way like that is my fear. And they were like, you know, like death is always at the back of your mind. And somewhere to you're like, 
God give me the grace to live, you know, until I fulfill my purpose, until it's your time. Because, you know, the devil is also at work and he's a killer of destinies and a killer of purpose and he snatches people's lives away. And yeah, so that is my fear that, you know, I will live before completing my purpose. That's why I wake up every day, every morning and do something towards, you know, my end goal, towards my purpose, what I think God has placed me in the world to do. And I do it daily because even the Bible tells us that, you know, Tomorrow, we, do, we, are, we are not promised tomorrow. We have today. You know, we can only hope for better days ahead. So, yeah, every day I wake up and I do my best because, you know, anything can happen. But, yeah, that's my greatest fear. My dreams. What are your dreams? Uh, okay. I have a lot of dreams. Like, I, if I start saying them right now, it will take a lot of time. But um, one of my greatest dreams is to just spread the word of God, like through music I sing. And that has been a big chunk of, you know, my dreams so far where I just want, you know, to write music and, you know, get into the um, production industry and just, you know, evangelize and spread the word and the love, the word, the love, you know, the forgiveness of Christ to the nations and also to live the good life, I would, the soft life, because I know come this life to suffer. I, I choose the soft life. So that could also be another dream according to me. All right. Okay. Another person asked, no question. I just love you. You are amazing. Oh, <laughs> guys, that is so sweet. Thank you so much. I love you right back. You know, ah, oh. guys, this month has been a good one. I thank God. I love you right back. <laughs> fondest memory as a kid. My fondest memory as a kid. So growing up, there's this restaurant. It's in, it's beyond the Fika. I think it's, is it in, uh, what is the name of this place? This place near the Buffalo place. I don't remember the exact name, but it's past Fika, just a few kilometers past Fika. It's a restaurant. It's called Dillon's. Dillon's. Billions. Dillon's. I, I don't remember the name. But guys, the memories that I have in that place with my family, especially with my mom, are priceless. Yani, I could never, never trade them for anything. Like every time when I'm going home and we pass, because it's like by the road, it, I don't know, it just gives me this emotional, jittery feeling. And yeah, and also... Memories of us just going to church as a family, memories of us just, you know, the conversations, the, the unplanned conversations, the unplanned visits, just, ugh, I have a lot of fond memories as a kid, honestly. And I, and I honestly, I really thank God because I understand that there are people who have had, you know, a very, you know, tough childhood and it somehow it affects their adulthood and I really thank God that. I was blessed to have a good one. I don't take that for granted. Okay. Yes, guys. So uh, how are the partnerships going? Uh, the partnerships are going well. I really thank God for the partnerships that I have gotten in 2020. I don't take them for granted. And even as I close 2020 and, you know, look forward to 2021, I pray for more partnerships in the mighty name of Jesus. And I receive them. Yeah, because I don't know. It has just, I was just telling a friend of mine that, 2020 has been such a miraculous year like it was everything out of my to-do list if i could say that everything i wanted to do you know it's it was just god came in and did his will and it was just for my good and i really thank god for that so the partnerships are going well what are you what are you most proud of uh, honestly, I am most proud of the fact that I made it through 2020 and that I am living my dream. I am living my dream life, not in totality, but I'm honestly living the life I want to be living. I can make, uh, you know, I'll obviously make it better. But as of now, I am proud of where I am and I am just proud of my achievements so far because, guys, <laughs> uh, a girl is doing the thing and I just... I'm just so grateful to God. Yeah. Most important thing in a relationship. All right. What is the most important thing in a relationship? Number one, trust. 
um, trust is very important in a relationship. I can imagine if I was to get into a relationship with someone I don't trust, it would be really hard. It would be such a struggle because trust is very important. And uh, something else that is also important is um, honesty. Be honest, you know, speak the truth. Uh, of late, I've had, I was having an experience, an interaction with someone. And I remember like in our first, not our first conversation, per se, but it was among the first ones. I remember just telling them that, you know, by the way, I am a very straightforward person. So just in case you think I am rude, uh, I am sorry, but I will ask. And, and when asked, I will answer truthfully. So honesty is very important. And love, of course, love is important. And um, yeah, what else? Me, those are my top three. Honesty, uh, trust, and love. Yes. But it depends. It depends with who you are in a relationship with, why you're in the relationship, because... I don't know. I'm just, what do I know about relationships and I'm single? What would I be knowing? But in whatever relationship, trust, honesty, and love are very important. That I know for sure. Wow. What a kindly describe your ideal date. Oh, this made me smile harder than I thought I would. <laughs> Yo, guys. So. My ideal date is as follows. This is my ideal date. So, you know, obviously we plan. Now, this is the day. This is the date time. Dress up. Uh, get picked up. Um, get to the, you know, the place where we are going. There has to be food. There has to be drinks and good music. And obviously, good conversations. Especially good conversations otherwise i will eat your food and go back home because i don't know yeah that that is my ideal date and also picnics i don't know for some reason i fancy going on a picnic so yeah a picnic would be nice too if 30 year old you looked back what would you want them to be proud of wow Ah, this is such a deep one. If 30-year-old me looked back, what do I want them to be proud of? Uh, I want them to be proud uh, of themselves, of me, number one. Uh, I want them to be proud that, you know, they stood the test of time, that, uh, like, troubles did not get them down, that, you know, hard times... Uh, did not honestly define them because, yeah, they made it and I want them to <laughs> clap for, you know, my, you know, themselves and just be like, you know what, honey, we did it. Yeah, so I'd really want them to be proud of, you know, the growth, the tenacity, the wisdom and, yeah, the strength that they have been showing. The last question. What is your, what do you think is the importance of sex in a relationship on a scale to one to ten? One being not important and ten being very important. Now, as we all know, I am Christian and uh, in the Bible, sex is for marriage only. So if it's in the context of marriage, my goodness, is a ten out of ten. Do the thing that need to be done. Because if you're married, I mean, why not? Go ahead. But if it's out of marriage, honestly, like seriously speaking, uh, it's wrong. According to the Bible, we should be practicing. Abs that does not mean that if you have done it, that that is your end. God is a forgiving God. He's full of so much grace and love. Come to him, repent, and he's going to forgive you. And if you, because I know like not everyone that watches my channel is Christian, and I'm not here to impose, you know, my Christian beliefs and, you know, the teachings that we are taught on you. If um, sex for you is something you must be having in relationships, kindly be safe, you know, use protection, get contraception. Yeah, but my best answer is abstinence. Wait till marriage because, you know, the way it, it pays off, that is what I've had people say and that is what I know. Not that I'm married yet, but it, it, it is going to pay off. Because the word of God cannot contradict itself. Yeah, if he says it's for marriage, when you get to marriage, you will, you know, obviously enjoy the fruit of waiting. 
so yeah those are the questions i hope i have not forgotten anything thank you to everyone that sent their questions over i thank you so much guys thank you so much you're the reason why i did this video because i did not want 2020 to end you know with having with me having that oh you did you were to do this you didn't do so now that that is done and dusted i want to wish you all again a merry christmas and a happy new year i hope to see all of you back here in 2020 kept of the lord you know protected sustained you know provided for because you know that is the power of our god Cindy. Uh, yeah if you're not subscribed just hit that subscribe button and join this family you know the first year and stuff though the first is not yet over but yeah subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in uh 2021 lots of love and light yeah bye guys <laughs>